CBS presents this program in color. Lost in Space has been brought to you by... Me. I thought it was Hallmark. The show actually is still running. Bringing you Christmas Many reruns. Before we get into that, though, before we get into that, I have to share with you two quick emails. Nice. My T-shirts just arrived. Very quickly, I might add, along with a few other goodies. Thanks. Amelia, here she is, was curious as to whether you offer children-sized T-shirts for sale. We didn't see any listed on the website. Well, we actually do. You have to go on Zazzle.com and type in TNT Amusements. We have a full line of T-shirts now, in all sizes. Three ring circus Mugs, tent for you. We even got a tie with my face on it. All we have here is jumbo size, fluffy jumbo, and bam! And also, that's a huge. <laughs> you're so mean to me. Uh, listen, Harold also <laughs> shared with us this picture. <laughs> Frankie's got your card. <laughs> You're right, Robbie. <laughs> Thanks very much for your awesome cards and stickers. I enjoy watching your videos very much. Looking forward to continue watching my awesome videos. Any one of the days, I'll have take a spurge and purchase a machine or video game from you. Say hi to the gang. Hello, Harold. Thank you for sharing. Now, back to <laughs> Lost in Space. And a word from our sponsor. <laughs> God. You know, the TV show came out in 65. Put this over there. 1965. I guess we won't need it anymore. To 68, 67. They made, I believe, 79 episodes. Some, that's when they were doing about 26 episodes a year. First season, color. Next two seasons. Black and white. Second two seasons, color. And back to black and white for the fifth season. No. Actually, actually, <laughs> they made a reunion with... Billy Mummy and Dr. Smith is right here. This terrific video. And oh, it's it's over there. just like they were oh, it's over. alive yeah. again. Uh, Dr. Smith is before he passed away. They recreated the entire ship, uh, the, the, uh, the, the top of the ship. That yeah. does not compute. The robot's there, too. Really good to watch that if you get a chance. Really. That brought back a lot of memories to a loss. Do you remember the drawing of Dr. Smith I made for you yes. when I was 12 years old? Yes, uh, Mad Magazine did a parody, Loused Up in Space. Look that one up. <laughs> that was great. What year was that? <laughs> well, that would have been like 66. Somebody 67. can dig that one up. Look that one up. <laughs> that was good. Loused Very Up fun. in Space. Anyway, they, the movie came out in 97, and uh, they thought this was going to be a big hit. Unfortunately, um, it didn't work. They, even though some of the uh, old cast appeared in it in different places, uh, Dr. Smith refused to be in it. He says unless he had a starring role, he was not interested. Maybe he's been wise, who knows. But it would have been nice to have him there. But uh, it was nothing like people expected. And here it is. They only made approximately 600. There's no actual cam. The cabinet has side art. The head has zero, just black, and this is Sega's new popular showcase cabinet. One, they actually were emulating the heads of uh, the Gottlieb uh, System 80. Like this. Uh, from this 80. Yeah, June yeah, just like 12. that. Look, a tiny little head. Kind of like you. Tiny little head. This is dated 19 years ago, this one, this particular model. Well, it, it was... Uh, it's not a bad game, but... That was Rob's turtleneck. There's a lot of bugs. Hey. That turtleneck's from yeah. the 80s. Anyway, let me show you some of the things we did before we start the game. We've lit the center here with ice blue. Okay, the lower part. We, he kept very close to the color theme of the game. Got a fire LED here. Now, the ship... Rob, let, let's show him the model. Yeah, I think I know where it is. You see my latest? This is loused up in space. See how it works great. <clears throat> here, uh, here. They sell this at the store. All this is 
there, see as you can see, and you press this button, <coughs> this one, probably where's the activation button? Hmm. One of these buttons started it, and we actually had it working. <laughs> Well, it worked once. I like the games that you saw. Needs batteries. Worked <laughs> once. <laughs> worked once. <laughs> it worked once. Oh. Okay. Perfect. How did that? <laughs> that pop some out? Anyway. It only worked once. Well, it says a bunch of stuff. Anyway. It also has some lights in it, but the ship, they glued everything shut, and the ship didn't do anything. So I had the boys take the ship apart. They put a light up top. They put two fires here on the sides of the ship. That's floating, by the way. That's supposed to do that. Okay. Okay. All right, show me what you've done. Well, we thought adding some lights to the UFO would be amazing, so we decided to do fire because it's close to the exhaust port. Oh, that's so. a great idea. They look great. Okay. And then we, we and also lit, lit up this cockpit right here. So Good. we... Oh, I like it. Yeah, that looked good. And it wasn't enough, so I said, let's light the robot. So the robot, when this light's on, it will change colors, because the robot actually moves. So we, we couldn't actually attach anything with him. So he moves. This is stationary, but it actually had LEDs in it. Just one. This one, this Just one here. One. So. We, Frank took it apart and tried to fool with it. The LED he had to change it. It was too dim when we tried to light it with a 6 volt. So, and he added another one here. You can just barely see it. But there's two LEDs in this. And thing. we couldn't really take it apart. Otherwise, yeah. if I could add another LED yeah. and brighten it up a bit. Well, we'll let some of you try that just to jazz up the game. The towers look really good behind these. These are the old switches. Half controls was making these for some time, where you could see through them. They were really good. The, the downside is they do break, A, and then second, the switches go bad. The little switches inside, so they were a, a double trouble type of thing. I wonder if there's a way to light this guy up here. Yeah. Uh, the theme as a whole I mean, it's very nice. It's a nice flowing game. And what they did is they, they have four or five different ways. Rob, you can take that home after you finish filming. Give it, give it to the baby. Or play with it yourself. Anyway, maybe you can get four. Um, there's a lot of different ways to get multi-ball and jackpots. Uh, for instance, the... Um, the condition green, yellow, and red. You have to get the greens first, okay? Then you move on, you have to get the three yellows, and then the uh, the reds here. When you get all three, uh, then you get your multi-ball and you do the Jupiter 2 ramp to collect. Okay, so that'll be lighting, that'll be flashing. So you collect all jackpots when the Jupiter is lit. Okay, that's one way. Robot multi-ball, real simple, R, O, B O T. You do you complete that, and then you spell robot for robot multi ball. You simply go up here, and boom, you go into that hole. It'll fire it up and around, and you're into robot multi ball. And this magnet here will grab it, a la Twister. Remember that one? Oh. Say it looks like a cross between tw Twister and Starship Troopers. On yeah, this. I need to tell you that this does not have that awful magnet board in it with a with a gal chip in it. That, horrible magnet board. So that's that I think the last time they used it was Twister. Um, there are three magnets on it. This is one. There's one at the top that stops it at the lanes here. And there's another one here for the orbit shot. So uh, it'll freeze it right there. So I just thought you should know there are three magnets. Thank goodness no no magnet board because it's all controlled by one of the last uses. I, I guess they still use this for a little bit longer. This game came out in May of 98 uh, by the uh, our favorite board system. Very dependable, unless the batteries leak. 
they didn't. Thank goodness. Oh, Frank, you're bored. Mm -hmm. Your board is saving. We sold hundreds and hundreds of the boards. So I like to say that Frank, Frank's board is going to continue to save many games for years to come. People that get them love them. Nobody's ever complained about it. We're getting our games back that we, we sold. Hate it. <laughs> we hate you. So. Oh, they, they, they hey, Rob. <coughs> Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> oh, the pain. The pain. I squeezed in another sound. Dr. Smith. God, you're so with it. Warning! 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 That's it, you gotta wear a robot suit now. Warning! 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 Dr. Smith, Will Robinson. Warning! Danger! 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 Oh, sorry. Maybe Kelly can send you one. <laughs> you gotta wear it. I do have fun. You just auditioned for and won the role. You know my aunt out in California, she lived uh, right out there, in the, right next to Hollywood. And Sherman she, Oaks. Sherman Oaks, right? A beautiful apartment. She actually had Zachary uh, Smith, uh, Dr. Smith, is that, God, I'll get that screwed up. Jonathan Harris, Zachary AKA a a Zachary, Zachary Smith. Uh, to her house twice for dinner. Exactly. <laughs> She said he was very gracious. Um, anyway. She also um, met Robert Blake at the restaurant. Where he oh, killed his yes. Wife. Oh, my gosh. We had dinner there. Mm. We, <laughs> the, the day after. Don't the do the crime if you can't there. do the time. Yeah, the news people were there filming because they had just been accused and they were at the, the restaurant we ate in. Remember it was that? fun. That yes. was neat. And they interviewed my aunt, the same aunt. And she said he's absolutely innocent. Remember? Absolutely. She had him over <laughs> she for was dinner. Pretty good. She was. She, that was neat. That That's was Hollywood neat. people. I will. Yeah. Hollywood people. All right, let's get back. We're hobnobbing with all these people. The fighter multi ball. Okay, the fighter multi ball are these two rollovers at the top, and the spinner. When you complete them, you light the pop bumpers, the super pops as they call them, and then you can enter into. Um, uh, shoot any flashing shot to collect it. Now, if you get all three of those, if you get the robot, the planets, and the super bumper, all at the same time, okay, uh, during during one ball, it awards an extra initials, enter <gasps> initials, enter initials. So in addition to the high score, you can get the three ball, three multi-ball thing. Okay, the planets. See these planets here? One, two, three, four, five. You make the planet shot, here and it'll light each one. And uh, the planets uh, uh, go up to an indicator after receiving an award, including an extra ball. That's all adjustable. The mystery shot is too. The mystery is the right return lane. So if you roll through this here, it'll light your mystery shot either here or here. Uh, well, well, here. Now, this one lights the mystery when that light's lit. See, there are some good rules in this. There really are. Here we are. Uh, let, let's give it a quick play. Give it a quick play. Dr. Smith. Let me put the instructions back in here. Now, I'm going to assume that is music from the movie, which I did not care for, but. I'm going to stop at the top. Heard him say O. Oh. He spells. We put blue LED flashers up top, of course. Wow! I like I like the effect of that. That's a kind of as active a bumper system as, a, as you can get. All reviewing time directive. Ellie 
days. It's that. That's as crazy as it gets right there. That action. That's the best action I've seen in a long time. <laughs> <Two sixty-five. laughs> Those when you have your clothes on? That's a super jackpot, Robbie. <laughs> oh, God, that was exhausting. All right. Okay, we got that. Condition green. Okay. We up to the third final. Okay. We're up to two. Okay, let's do this. Hmm. Good condition green. Oh, listen. The music. That's the season three theme. Review, oh, we got our mystery. Let's see what the mystery is. Okay, three million. Let's see now, Rob. If I go in there, how do we play our... our I played the game. Showtime. Let's see if this 
Condition red. Ah, there it is. There it is. Multi ball hyperdrive engaged. Yep, another one. Rob Luck is freezing all three. See, we never got that before. And I guess all four. They're all four loaded. And here we go. Nobody is. Um, you might be interested to know that um, we went to the Pentastic Show in 2018, and a fan of the original series, Rob, took this very game and we created his own Lost in Space based with the original cast. I happen to have some footage. <laughs>
Lester. I really wanted to interview him. I never got a chance to have done. He's done so many great games. But Brian Hawkins must be the man that did this beautiful job on it. Season three. Season one and two, we never knew what, it never was used. But, you know, God, I love the show so much, it didn't matter. They couldn't do any wrong. What a great, the perfect cast. this for like the past year so I got everything in place ready to go I just needed to find the game but it's a hard game to find so I finally found one in Maryland drove down picked it up and just immediately started doing all the stuff to it well I'm the labor of love so glad it got best of show I mean oh god I played I, it you liked it I, I didn't even see it until 10 minutes yeah, ago it's so it's somehow, on top. it's great I mean was that did you make that robot or was it a free name it, it was a toy, but it, it only had like three LEDs in it. So I had to put like four, uh, 42 different LEDs in the head, the chest, and everything. Now, the most important question is what did John Borg think? Oh, he loved it. He loved it. He's a huge Lost Space fan. He told me he was so excited to get the license to do the pin from 98. But then when he saw the movie, he was kind of a little let down because he was a little disappointed, like most people were. So he's glad to see it. Like, I was worried. He thought, oh, you bastardized my game. But he actually liked it. So. Well, it was a great game. And we, we, I loved it. Now, I've shared the game with so millions, well, thousands of people. I wish I had millions of viewers. I don't. You thousands will. of people will now know that this is Brian Hawkins. So, can you tell us, though, what was the cost? Uh, materials, not that much. You know, it's just mostly labor. Like, LEDs are cheap and cut plastic is not too expensive. So, maybe a thousand dollars worth of materials. So, what the rest of just time. What did you do for the play field? Did you just have a custom overlay made for it? The, the play field, the upper half, is mostly generic space already. So, I didn't have to change the upper part of the play field. The lower part had the actors' faces from the movie. So, that's the part I replaced. And that's just a photo, photo print. That I cut the size, color match, put down. What's with the ramps? The what? All the ramps. All the decals on the side. Yeah, there's a game, uh, Game on Graphics. Great company, I recommend them. But for it's like 130 bucks or something, you can do full size head so, art package. So, game on Graphics. You'll have to put game a link on Graphics. Here. I've ordered a bunch of overlays for video games. So, and they do translates. They did the translate too for me for like 40, 50 bucks. That means that you. If you have the passion and love, you can do just what Brian did, and it's not that expensive, but no. labor intensive. Yeah, you got to take a lot of time in Photoshop, get the pictures right, you have to resize everything. And what about, uh, one last thing, what about the programming? It's all the original rules from the original Sega game, so I didn't change any of that. So what, what, if I get what more adventures, I might go p -Rock What about the, uh, the DMD? The time matrix, the graphics, or the again that hasn't changed. It's still from the movie. I want to tweak those to be more the TV, but didn't have time. But this is like you know, work in progress. Lost in space will continue after station identification. Wasn't that neat?
That was neat. That was neat. Rob. Good. And good to eat. It's post production. Wait a minute, let me look down here. We're done right. with this torture. I could have had a V8. What do, you think? For a what, do you think? what do you really think? I think the game has a ton of stuff to do, a lot of fun, and it looks like you're going to have to live with a few little glitches. You clean yourself up. Ew. It's another fine mess you've got us into, Ollie. Oh, the pain. The pain. <laughs> Daily. What a daily basis I have to put up with this. All right, well, the boys have to take this thing. they got to get this out right away. All right, you want glass? We're going to need a nice glass. We have to take the balls out. You, by the way, whenever you transport pimples, you have to take the balls out. Is that kind of like you have to take them out before you lift the play field up and they go crashing and everything? For the same reason? Right. I don't have time for nonsense like that. Anyway. You so lost in space. Did you? Were you impressed? Well, we're done. Lost in space will continue after station identification. Warning! Warning! Will Robinson, air quality does not support my circuits. Danger! Danger! <laughs> The star of the show. Yes, I am. And a sidekick. Lost in Space <laughs> has been brought to you by. Did you like that? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I do like. I like Mark in California coffee very much. And I'm drinking it from my Queen Mary cup that I bought when we visited the Queen Mary where you and I sailed the ocean blue in 62. 1962, Rob, remember? Yep. I, when I went out bad there, when I got the mug, I actually went to the stateroom we were in, C-13. Ah, oh, the old C-13, where I was so violently it. ill. Yeah, one day, we were violently ill one day. Now, Scotty, look what Scotty's done here. They didn't put the stabilizers down. He has, he has repainted this and put new um, quieting insulation down. This is actually pipe insulation sliced in half. I That's don't hear the little pipe there. insulation, Scotty. You don't hear anything. Oh, okay. It's for this leak chip. If you look, turn the camera and see Mr. Steven. Uh, the customer is getting it painted black, but not having the art restored. Hello? But he's saving a bucket of money. Are you under there? I'm under here. The art yeah. actually doesn't look so bad, does it, Scotty? Well, Steve painted the black. Once the black is done, it'll look very nice. This is actually sold and paid for. Is it going to England? No, no, it's going. Grass? Nebraska. C13. Same thing. I don't remember. They just delivered the other leech. We had two leech chains next to each other. Look what just came in. A strike zone. Well, thanks for That's joining us. Oh, wait a minute. I have to show you something Rob filmed. While he was at home with the COVID, he filmed, the pandemic. Yeah. he filmed this about our Lost in Space game. Let's show you. You bubbling idiot. You blithering tin can. What do you think you're doing? You know, Robbie, that was pretty awful. His brain's lost in space. I only did what you told me to do, you idiot. Friend, it was so horrible. But I still love my brother. No, he doesn't. Thanks for watching tonight. Now get out! Over most of these stations. I said that. He said that.